what is up everyone and welcome back to the channel now this is gonna be kind of a short update video for you guys and uh, i'm gonna try not to get off topic like my first take of this and uh yeah it's gonna be kind of a short update and i just want to see some uh, and kind of uh, get some opinions on things going forward on this channel so first off i want to address the elephant in the room and that is thank you guys for supporting the gran Turismo 2 plus let's play that is a series that i have really been just loving watching the support flood in from you guys all the likes and comments and you know obviously views as well uh it's been something that i haven't seen in a gaming video in so long on my channel any of the channels i've ran over the years which is only two but um like none of my old gaming videos on my on my main channel ever got this kind of a support uh, so I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for supporting this Gran Turismo 2 Plus series. Gran Turismo is a series that I'm extremely passionate about. It's one of the two kind of hallmarks on this channel outside of Pokemon. And so I want to thank you guys for supporting that series as a whole. Um, I do want to say I am taking a break from filming those after recording 22 episodes within a two week period and then uploading them almost entirely uninterrupted back to back. It's exhausting, I'm sure, for a lot of people who want to see other content. Uh, even though the GT2 Plus stuff is doing so good, um, I want to give some other games a chance to shine, such as the one you're watching right now, this Scratch Mo7, um, you know, garage screen and this TTS kind of floating around. Um, I'll talk more about that in a minute, but I want to stay on the gaming Let's Play side of things for a while. So I'm going to be taking a break from recording the GT2 Plus Let's Play. I want to give some other games a chance to shine on this channel. As in what you guys have seen, the very first video to come out after the GT2 Plus Let's Play was an Assetto video. And that's a, that was a fun video to make. It was something I just kind of thought of spur of the moment. I have a bunch of mods from uh, a Sim Dream development. Uh, there's a ton of uh, F1 cars I have on there. Highly recommend them. It's a paid mod service, but they are really good mods. And I think out of all of the like modern race car mods I've gotten on Assetto, they're the only ones that function right out of the box with no trouble. So I highly recommend them. Sure, it's expensive once you buy a bunch of them. I mean, I've spent probably close to $60 on this dude's site over the last couple of months getting, you know, mods from all over the sport, all over the place. Whether it be old F1 cars, new F1 cars, you know, some uh, some GT cars. I've got a few Lamar prototypes that, um, you know, like the Porsche 963, stuff like that on there. So there's plenty of content to be made within a set of because I think that's just a lot of fun. Um, don't expect that no Hesse because it's just like that's I don't have the reaction times for that. Um, but like, you know, in terms of like, like the one minute challenge, letting the car get ahead and trying to catch it. I do intend on doing another video like that in the future uh, where it's a pack of cars um, versus the RB19 or some other F1 car. I'm waiting for the W14 to drop. Despite the Red Bull livery on the TTS, I am more of a Mercedes guy when it comes to Formula One until Audi jumps in in 2026. Um, so yeah, expect some cool content on Assetto, like with challenges like that, because that video also got a decent bit of views. I've got the channel pulled up. I mean, 100 views is pretty good for, you know, 117 subscriber channel. So uh, yeah, but the main thing is I just want to thank you guys for supporting the GT2 Plus Let's Play. Um, that sh that series was filmed pretty much during a time where I was just heavily stressed out from my job. Uh, my job can be kind of traumatizing at times. I work a government job and I'm around a lot of, you know, bigger... I don't really want to give away too much info about my job, but just more, I guess, dark parts of it. Um, and it, it's hard sometimes because it's just like there's so many things going on and a lot of it can be traumatizing for someone who's, you know, fairly new to the field like I am. I'm sure once I get more time in, it won't bother me as much. But right now it's like, wow, you know, um, I've been doing it for a year now and it still affects me. And that whole series was filmed during a two week period where I was kind of in a rut. And that was a good outlet for me to not only entertain myself and get my mind off of what goes on, but also to entertain you guys as well. So I want to thank you guys for giving me that outlet and supporting that outlet uh, and allowing me to make some really fun videos for you guys because that was a really fun series. So since I'm taking a break from GT2+, Plus, what am I succeeding that series with? Now, two years ago, I started the Grand Turismo 4 Let's Play. And this is where I want you guys' opinions. So two years ago, I started a Gran Turismo 4 Plus Let's Play, or Gran Turismo 4 Plus, wouldn't that be a thing? Gran Turismo 4 Let's Play, and I loved it. It was a fun series, but it didn't have the same level of viewer feedback that the GT2 Plus videos did. Um, now for me, I grew up, I was born, you know, a couple years before Gran Turismo 1 launched, so I missed on GT1 and GT2 entirely, which is why I was really excited to play GT2 Plus for you guys, to kind of finally get to experience the game that, you know, people say was the best of the standard death era. 
Um, of course, I am more of a GT3 and GT4 kind of guy, but um, you know, I, I have a lot of love for GT2 now as a result of playing through the Let's Play. It was a great time. Um, but yeah, I've been thinking about picking up the GT4 Let's Play again. The last time I left off was the GTWC, the GT World Championships in that game. There's still a lot to do. I've done a lot of stuff off screen in that game, actually, so over the last couple of years. Um, I've got the Formula Grand Turismo. I've got all the black cars. I really want to do a ton of videos with that, uh, with specifically the Formula Grand Turismo, and uh, take part in that series in the game because I love F1, and I think that'd be an absolute blast to do with those old style v, uh, F V12, I guess, powered, even though they look like the V10 cars. Um, I really wish they'd have brought that car up to GT7 because uh, the lack of proper F1 cars in this game is kind of sad. The next thing, though, is starting a new Let's Play, and that's where I want you guys' opinion the most. Uh, so pretty much it's either going to be picking Grinch from 4 back up or doing something different, uh, like a different Let's Play. And by Let's Play, I want to do something start, either starting from zero or picking up on one of the established series I have. And like I said, GT2 Plus has taken a bit of a breather. I want to also give the devs some time to, you know, add more stuff to the game on that on that add-on because uh, Pest2K, the creator of GT2 Plus, actually commented on one of the videos in the series and is going to be adding a bunch of stuff in an update, which I intend on getting a hold of and uh, eventually patching my copy of too once he's ready for it. Uh, and of course, I'll highlight that in a video at that time, probably separate from the Let's Play, but may be a part of it. I really don't know. We'll see when that time comes. Uh, the next dilemma I'm running into, though, is what game to succeed it with, like I said, GT4, or picking up either like a Need for Speed Most Wanted 2005 Let's Play. Try to get out of the Gran Turismo realm, even though it's kind of one of my main pillars, uh, or doing like a Gran Turismo 1 Let's Play. Uh, seeing if I can try some other emulators and get GT3 to work properly because that game struggles. I, it, it, it's just not optimized well for emulation. I struggle a lot with it on emulation, um, unlike GT2 and GT4 and games of that nature. Um, so I don't know about that one, but like GT1, I'm not opposed to. If RPCS3 could get everything dialed in for Gran Turismo 5, I would absolutely do a Let's Play of that. That's my absolute favorite of the HD era games. As much as I love this game, um, I love GT5 uh, a lot. That game was a very special place in my heart. Uh, it was finally the game I got to play online when I was younger. Uh, so that's a game I would love to do a Let's Play on. But I'm waiting on RPCS3 to do its thing because I don't feel like spending a ton of money on a capture card for my existing PS3 and erasing my save and not being and losing all the DLC cars I had and all that kind of stuff. Not something I keep on doing. So yeah, I'm intending on keeping my actual hardware copy intact. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see a Let's Play of that, uh, I am more than happy to do it uh, once our PCS3 does its thing. Uh, but I also want to bring Pokemon back. That's a series that I feel like I've neglected, as even though it's a part of like the main pillars. I mean, it's in the name of the channel, a Pokemon name. Uh, the last time I did a play uh, any video on Pokemon, I'm looking back now, was over a year ago uh, before I embarked on my PC build and brought up you know the Gmod, the Beam and G stuff, as well as the Assetto stuff which eventually led to the Gran Turismo 2 Plus Let's Play. So um, I've actually been working on two Pokemon ROM hacks off camera for you, like not for you guys specifically, but something that I, would be, I wouldn't be opposed to, to, you know, posting up for you guys at some point once they're done. One of which is just a minor reskin of Emerald that's meant to be harder, uh, but not like Kaizo hard, not like Kaizo Emerald or anything like that, but just something that, just a reskin with new characters that are minor things because I'm, I'm new to ROM hacking in general and I don't know what I'm doing at all. At all. Um, revised encounter tables, um, that me and my friend Hayden, who you guys, if you've been a really long-term subscriber, might remember uh, from a lot of like the monthly haul videos we were big into collecting. Uh, we, me and him, painstakingly created the encounter tables for that game. And so I'd like for you guys to get to see the fruits of our labor at some point. And then another one I've been working on since 2020, which I still haven't finished, and I doubt will ever be finished. But it's nice to think it was more. It was a more ambitious project. But uh, yeah, just so just let me know what you guys want to see. I want to thank you guys again for supporting me and supporting this channel and supporting the Let's Play. If you're into cars and want to see what I do in real life, go check out, I think I have it in the recommended channels, and I'm going to add it. Um, the recommended channels, the feature channels, go check out myself. Uh, I have 1,850 subscribers, and I am building a Mark 7 GTI over there if you guys want to go see that. But anyway, guys, for now, I'm going to leave you guys with this video of my TTS I built for the eSports series. That's another thing before I leave entirely. 
Go follow uh, GT7 underscore SACI on Instagram if you want to participate in some esports races. It's a minor league kind of thing. It's not really any cash prizes. It's just more for bragging rights and fun. Uh, but I race there and um, I built this TTS specifically for it. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned for that. More info will be coming soon on that. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching and uh, take care.